Let's do a quick demo on how to pan for gold. First thing you want to get is a nice big pan. Usually want to use a classifier, so I'm using a Garrett classifier over my Pro Line, I think 14 inch professional pan here, um, which is my go to pan. Big classifier full of material, usually about two shovel shovelfuls. And you're going to classify the material down. So you're going to get in the water where you've got a nice layer over you. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Pull out the bigger cobble stuff in here. Get all the fine stuff out. And then it's usually a good idea to take a look in your classifier. Um, if you're in an area that could produce nuggets that would get caught on a half inch classifier, you definitely want to check that as well as specimen pieces if you're in that type of area. Um, most, I mean, some gold bearing areas have that possibility. Western Pennsylvania here pretty much does not. But I'm just looking at the various rocks and stuff. I actually don't see much granite. There's a piece. It's some sort of granite there. I don't see much granite in this compared to some of my other pans here. But let me take a look at those. Then you got your pan full of material here. Now what you're going to do is dip it under the water. And you're going to shake it around in kind of a circular motion. And get that material stratified. Get it all good and stratified so the heavies sink to the bottom and the lights come to the top. Then you're going to kind of tip it up and wash off the lights. And you're going to shake, shake, shake. And now as you're shaking, you're going to kind of try and concentrate your heavies along this line here, the, the bottom rim of your pan. So you're going to kind of be tipping and shaking. Shake and wash off the heavies. And when you're sample panning like this, you can be pretty aggressive. You're not going to, there's not much gold in there to lose if there is gold in there. Um, it's when you're finished panning that you have to be a lot more careful and methodical with your panning. But sample panning like this, you don't. So now we get down to about, say, yay much material. And now you're just going to kind of start shaking it where your riffles are more or less uh, parallel with the water surface and shake it so the heavies in the material are going to settle to the bottom of these riffles. So shake, shake, shake. That gets the heavies to the bottom, lights to the top, and then you're going to wash the lights off. And repeat the process. Shake, shake, shake. Wash the lights off. Shake, shake, shake. Wash the lights off. Uh, you can help some of the bigger material out, the heavy biggers, the bigger heavies. <laughs> Take a look at it, see if you see anything interesting. In certain areas, you could get some pyrite or other heavy, uh, certain gemstones would be heavier, potentially concentrate in there. Um, we're in glacial material, I'm not saying it's impossible that you could find some interesting gemstones possibly, but it's going to be a rarity. Shake, 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 so now you're getting down to the very bit, you can see the top of each riffle now. And you just keep shaking like that, heavies to the bottom, wash it out. And now you're down to about as much as you want to get it down to. Um, and that's why... So I prefer these pans with the aggressive smaller riffles for sample panning because now when I pull the material over to the side, it's not, I'm not overwhelmed with material. Whereas if you have like the Garrett Super Sluice, which I know is super popular, um, you would have probably like this much material in there from those two massive riffles. <laughs> So these are better sample pans with these smaller riffles. The Garrett Super Sluice is a better production pan where you just, you know you're on gold, you're gonna pan, get it down to those riffles and dump it in a bucket to process later. Now let's see if we got anything. Maybe I'll uh, break our streak of not finding gold on this trip so far. And then you're just going to like feather the material back and keep swirling the water around and it spreads out those heavies. Hoping this camera's picking something up here. But I see nerfing. Nothing. Black sands and garnet. If the gold was there, it would be there, because I know I can usually pan down and see some pretty fine stuff, but it's not there. That's how you pan for gold. Gonna pan out this 
This is a like crenulated phyllite here, decomposing bedrock. It's not quite decomposed to the point of soil, but I mean, it's you can break it up. But last pan and this stuff was pretty nice. Uh, wasn't quite that much of the decomposing bedrock. Because he just forms these <laughs> slivers, flat, flat, flat little flaky pieces. single pan from that decomposing phyllite. That's nice. And there's like a hundred colors in there and a nice flake. Can't beat that for a single pan. I'd love to be able to dredge this, but that's not an option, unfortunately. So, oh well, it's a beautiful pan there. Okay, so we're gonna pan this back out. But yeah, we're getting into some you know, some clay on bedrock and then decomposing bedrock. So this is all decomposing bedrock right here and stuff. It's the good stuff. Um, do this pan stuff. But as you'll see on these small feeder creeks, it's kind of whenever I watch any uh, pay dirt reviews. I laugh a bit because they're always like, oh, the, the, the dirt's a little dirty and you can't see what we're doing because the dirt's a little dirty. Um, but welcome to real life where most of the time out panning, especially small creeks like this, you're going to be panning into mud. Your water's going to be all muddy and you can't see. You'll, you'll be able to like dip into some of this stuff over here like a little bit upstream where you're panning, get a little bit of clear water, but for the majority of it, it's gonna be muddy ass water. That's just real life. I never do, I've never done pay dirt, so I can always just go out and get my own. I understand some people cannot. If they want the real experience, they should be panning into a muddy trough. Where the hell that was? kind of see it clears out somewhat but then you gotta put the clear water 
Shake it down and around. Hopefully we get some more nice gold in here. Nice little picker. Yeah, look at that guy. And a little flake right next to him. But yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd call that one a picker. I can pick it up. This is a nice little coarse picker there. I always love to freaking see that. Plus, plus that little flake and some other little finds in there. But damn, love seeing that.